Our next guest plays a devious teenager who gets caught up in a gang of criminals and drug dealers in the Netflix crime drama Ozark. Julia Garner navigates this murky world opposite Jason Bateman as the show gears up for its second season. Ah, so we're negotiating now. Yes, we are. You got a counter? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't mess with her. Julia Garner joins us in the studio. Welcome. Thank you. I actually remember that scene, shooting that scene. What so. was going through your head when you do that? I mean, it's, it's fun. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> terrible to say. But no, I just remember thinking, God, this girl is so crazy. But it's super fun just to play her. And um, those scenes are fun, yeah. for sure. Totally out of your element, I imagine. Like, it's a very different oh, persona sure. to have you in studio this morning. You're so polished. Um, <laughs> you're so put together. And then you see her on camera, and she is wild. Yeah. She's ruthless. I mean, she, uh, she, yeah, she's just, she's, you don't really know what to expect. But that's really why I also love the character and what drew me to, to the part, so. Um, I imagine, too, for yourself, that you have to fully immerse yourself in this character. I, it, there's some method acting that you've done with her as well. Um, I read that you, you took on the accent for a long period of time outside of filming. Right. Well, you know, for about a month before even going to Atlanta to shoot, I would just, like, walk around with the accent so I, I was comfortable enough just to, you know, just speak, go on and off. You know, because I, I feel like with accents, it's a lot of it has to do with the music of, you know, the accent. So I just wanted to feel as comfortable as possible to do whatever I wanted with the part well, and not think about it. Yeah, and when you're getting as emotional as she gets, you want to make sure that you're not even worrying about the accent. Exactly. You just want to do it, and that's it. Because people don't really think when they're talking. <laughs> What's it so. like working with Jason Bateman? Because you not only is he on screen with you, but he also directed you in some of the episodes. He's amazing. He is like, he's the most amazing artist. And um, I just, I feel so lucky working with him. And he's just an incredible director. And, and I just learned so much from him. So I, I feel extremely we lucky to, to be working with sure. someone like Jason Bateman and, and Laura Linney and all, all these amazing, and, okay. and everybody else on the show. I mean, everyone, you know, the people who played my uncles uh, and everybody was amazing. We could be so. part the show recently and Jason received two was. Emmy nominations. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> does that does that validate what you guys are doing on set? Yeah, I mean, and it's just so great because J that is the show is Jason. I mean, he produced, directs, stars, everything. So it's really wonderful. I liked this morning, I went uh, through your Instagram uh, and I saw a picture <laughs> that you posted with Jason and a couple of the other co-stars, but I liked the, the comment that the Netflix account put on it. It said, just a nice normal couple and their teenage friend who helps them launder money for various drug cartels. Did they write that? They, they totally I did. Didn't even know. I didn't even see it. Oh my God, I'm so spacey. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna post this and then move on. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, but the show I think is so good for that because it's, it's uh, normal people who have encountered right. very, uh, not normal circumstances that they just don't know how to handle. Right, well, I feel like it's a perfect example of a show that extreme circumstances brings the worst or the best out of people. And that's every, you know, you, it just kind of, uh, it, it kind of tests you, who you are as a person. And I feel like the show's also about finding, everyone's kind of finding their own identity on the show, so. You're finding great success, not only with this show, but in other uh, facets of your career as well. Thank you. Is this something that you could have thought would have happened to you, or is this beyond your wildest dreams? It's, I don't, I mean, it's eight, nine years ago, I didn't even know that I was gonna act, so. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of one of those things that I just did, and I liked it, and then, you know, I, I, yeah, I just did it, because I liked it, and then it went well, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. So, oh, yeah, but. Uh, no, I would never think that I would be like sitting here talking to you or like doing all these things. So it's kind of great. Well, we are thankful. Thank we you. So well, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I, the fateful day eight or nine years ago and, and you've changed your lives for the better, Julia. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay, so you don't want to miss it. If you haven't seen Ozark yet, you need to binge watch it all and you can do that. The second season will be available August 31st on Netflix.